Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Inkscape Vector Image Editor on Windows 10. So I'm going to open up my web browser. I'm using Google Chrome and I'm going to type in Inkscape into Google and you'll see this link here inkscape.org. We'll click on that and it says here Inkscape is a professional vector graphic editor for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. It's free and open source. So before we install it, let's go to community and click on gallery. And you'll see some examples of the type of artwork that you can do. So let's take a look at this and you'll see that it's basically shapes. It's lots of different shapes created with the vector application. And these shapes are filled with different types of colors and transitions in the color. And this is the sort of artwork you can do. There's some other examples here. Let's take a look at this. This is more like a complex shape smoke type effect. Let's have a look at a few more. You can do things like animation, so some spinning cogs. But normally I'll use this piece of software to do things like logo designs or sort of badges, things like this. This is really what this software is really good at doing, but you can do many other things. And you can see that it's all shape based images with transitions of colors. And it's really nice um, piece of software, especially because it's free uh, to do vector based artwork. So it's kind of similar to Adobe Illustrator. So we'll click on the logo again. We'll click on this green download button. And it will give us three different options. Linux installation, Windows and Mac. We're going to click on Windows. When we click on Windows, it asks me if it's 32-bit or 64-bit I want to download. So to find this out, I'll click on this little circle here. I'll type in system. And when I type in system, system type is 64 bit based PC here so I'll click on 64 here and then it gives me different methods of installing the software and in this case I'm just going to click on Windows installer so I'll click that and then the software will start to download here you can see it's downloading and if you're using Google Chrome it will download here if you're using Internet Explorer it will show around here somewhere and if you're using Firefox it will show up here either way around you just click on the installer so I'll click on that my Nortons will check to make sure it's safe. Here you can see it's safe to install. We'll minimize this window. We can close this. And here's the installation here. We'll click next. We'll say accept and click next. We'll say typical here. You can do a custom installation if you want and select specific features, but we'll say we'll install the typical most common features. And we'll click the install button. Now a screen might pop up, you probably can't see this on my screen and it's just asking to allow this installation, I'm going to click yes and then the installation will start. Okay, let's finish. So we'll click the finish button here. We can see the software is installed here. So we'll launch the application. Let's have a quick look. So here you can see the software. It's just a blank canvas at the moment, but then you can start to draw objects onto your canvas using these different tools. I'll be making a tutorial on how to use Inkscape a little bit later, but for now it was just about getting this software installed. If you want to learn more about Inkscape, why not go to YouTube and type in Inkscape tutorials and there's plenty of people that have done tutorials there and I'll be making a few myself uh, at a later date. So let's just minimize this and that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.